Hello and welcome back to now part three in a four-part series, which is a very long interview, about three and a half, almost four hours of Todd Kolhep speaking to police at his request, recorded on November 22nd of 2016. If you've watched the previous two, you'll know I've already introduced this and you can skip, I'll, I'll leave a link to skip right into the right into the recording, but I wanted to let you know that I did my very best to transcribe this and to fix any mistakes that the automated system uh, may have done, uh, but it's not going to be perfect. So I apologize for that in advance. And I also want to reiterate for now the third time in this series that I am not putting this recording out there in its entirety because I think that Cole Hep is worth, you know, putting his crazy thoughts out there. Um, but I do think that there's educational value. So I hope that by putting this out there, I'm not creating any hurt or pain for the families of the victims. I know um, many of them, you know, the super bike murders happened in 2003. So many of them have been suffering for a long, long time. But I, I just want you to know that I didn't do this to offer or to cause any pain, I guess is what I'm saying. But, um, but to offer maybe some educational value to understand what's going in the mind of this person. Okay, so with that, let's hop back in to part three of the November 22nd interview that Todd Colehep did with the police. I had to tell you where half of them were. Y'all didn't find them. Uh, well, the only one that got me was we found the others, and that was a pretty intro. That was a pretty unique idea with the one pantry, and the one with the magnet. That was pretty damn ingenious. I'm gonna be honest. That kid, when they when I found that, I was like, kid can't get to it. Uh, like, easy access. I was like, holy shit! Is this a magnet holding that up there? Mm -hmm. The one that got me was when they when we listed the dog. Alone, I was like, because uh, I was standing in the in the. You know, that's a forty-five. Yeah, I know. I was standing in the where the dining room is when you went in there. So, if you had pulled that up, we'd have had a, it'd have been a bad day all the way. Around. I wouldn't have pulled it up. I would have reached over, grab it, and I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna shot Mark twice. Yeah, but I won't shoot Mark. Yeah. Um, I got near that gun three times. Mm -hmm. I've done some fucked up shit. I've done some wrong shit. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to compound it and shoot a cop. So, just because you can, just because you could, doesn't mean you do it. Right. Um, I got way too many cop friends, way too many SWAT friends, way too many PMC friends, way too many friends in that world. Mm -hmm. um, I shoot one of you, I might as well be shooting yeah. every one of them. Yeah. The fuck? You just don't do it. No, that that was a uh, Glock, Glock 30, 45 cal with a Tyrant 45 can on it, shooting 130 green, no, I'm sorry, 230 green HST. The, the, the suppressor made it look like it was an assault rifle. I was waiting for an expandable. I was like, holy shit, look at the link. Because when they lift up, look, there's your guy. I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, that's not good. Not be cocky, but. You know, no, um, you know no. every everywhere I go, I'll be honest with you. I'm not a I'm not an overly religious person, but last that night I went home. I thank God. I was like, holy shit! I'm glad he likes cops. I was like that that the MPX that's in the in, that's in the in the in the, in the X5. Mm -hmm. You know, there's nothing on that standard. Oh, I know, I know. But what I'm saying is, when you came, came legal as a motherfucker, huh? legal as a motherfucker. That's an NPX pistol that I converted to a SBR by putting the folding stock on it. And I took this, then I took the trigger out of it. It's got a uh, Guy Lee, looks like it's pronounced Giselle. Mm -hmm. It's not Guy Lee. Mm -hmm. um, Guy Lee, uh, super match, super dynamic three gun trigger. It 
acts like a full auto. Anybody who does um, bump fire is a fucking idiot. Yeah. Okay, you can't control it. It's you're not the con. Yeah. I don't need full auto. I I have. Well, you have. You'll have uh, full auto. Okay. Yeah. Um, full auto is a joke. Yeah. Okay, your SWAT is not a full auto. Yeah. Most soldiers. I don't think they do. Yeah. They have triple. I think it'll triple. But that's it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, he was talking about the MP5 SD2. Yeah. You didn't like that one. Um, hey, 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 I'm not being an asshole. I actually like Mark. He's a good guy. There's two people on your team I would not want to fuck with. Yeah. If I had to go heads up. Now, no offense, but you, you, you're you just too big. I mean, you're like me. I mean, yeah. you, uh, when I studied my old childhood growing up, my dad was in martial arts. and Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, see, my only asshole was a small person. Yeah. But if I catch you, yeah. he's not joking. Say, like, I have a friend I grew up with that was Mr. Olympia in 2009. Oh, Jesus. That's what I used to do before I became a cop. I rang out health clubs. Oh, cool. I opened all the goals, gyms, and smart work. Tell so that's, that was my thing. The hot chick in the cami pants would not want to fuck with her. But hot chick in the cami pants. The day, the way, at my house, at my house, she came up with you afterwards. You had the you had the the two the two from Anderson. Okay. And then you two. Mark, I read off right off the bat, as the most hostile person in that room. Actually, no. What? I'm the most I was the most I am the most hostile person that was in that room. I don't mean confrontation balls. Oh, okay. I don't mean confrontation balls. Trust me, I don't want to fuck with you either. You can read how someone who's got more skills in yeah. regards to, in regards in regards to weapons, stance, and training. Yeah. He carried himself in a manner that it was killed. There was a hot chick. I'm thinking she's Hispanic. She had, she had darker skin, slightly. Pretty girl, dark hair, wore um urban urban chemical. She came up after you had already found Kayla. She pulled in. What's she driving? But at that point in time, I was not really checking that out. I just saw a, a, a kind of a hot chick that was obviously a cop, and she came in like she was. She she basically was not in the mood to be fucked with, and I got the impression that she was either part of the Anderson Police Department or she was part of your damn search team. But she carries herself like she's a gunslinger. I don't know who that is. I don't remember who that would be. I'm telling you, she carries herself like a gunslinger. Hispanic female. She's not much Hispanic. She's she's just darker skin slightly. Maybe she's got a good damn good tan. But uh she wore uh camouflage pants. More blues and grays, not black. So shirt off what cut what her shirt looked like? The then her was it camouflage or was it no. I don't think so. It may be, but it was a different color. It wasn't the same as the pants. It wasn't a uniform. It wasn't a uniform. I don't know. I'll have to find out who that is because I don't remember who that is. Yeah, she's not to be fucked with. I don't remember the way, the way she walks and the eye contact. Yeah. The way she, she carries her eyes. Yeah. Wouldn't advise you to go hit up with her. Telling you. I don't remember she did that. She's either super confident or she's got skills. Mark, you could tell he had training somewhere. The, the SWAT did not surprise me. Um, thought I pissed him off at first because he, he went me. I made a comment about, you know, quite honestly, I mean, I've got. I've had training like your SWAT team has. Mm-hmm. And I got the impression I kind of pissed him off. He's like, just keep SWAT. Yeah. You know, like, I wasn't mean to, like, no, no, no. Hey, I mean, th- they can do this female would. I don't know what it was. Sure, stuck one of my neighbors. Did I what? No, no. Um, I'm like, got that in. Oh, I, I, okay. I know he, she was with a guy with gray hair with ponytail. Mm, I didn't see him. I didn't pay attention. She's an art. That would fit. She, does she have glasses on? She had dark hair and had it pulled back. Yeah, she's a dark. Why does he have an arthur? Hmm? Why does she have an arthur? That were around. In case something bad happened. How many fucking cops did you have on standby for my ass? We had a lot of people around. Why did you think I was that much of a badass? We didn't know what we were dealing with. You knew my past because you pulled it up. Mm-hmm. Well, I knew you. But you pulled my past up, which you knew. Um, 
I can't. I, I, I was surprised it took you two months to show up. Well, it didn't take us two months to show up. It took Anderson two months to show up. What? We only got the case a week before that. Why took them two months? I don't know. I don't know what they were working on or what, what was going on with the case. I don't know. We only got involved, I think it was a week or so before that. But, yeah, the young lady you're talking about, she's a narc and she's bad. Yeah. Yeah. She, and, and I could tell you. Yeah, she's bad. Um, she had the leg, leg holster. I wasn't checking that. I yeah. saw the leg, saw the cami, and I saw, I'm just checking more than her, her walk mm -hmm. and her eyes. Yeah. I can't tell you, she had big tits, small tits on yeah. it. She's tough. She, she's a scrapper. But you can look at her eyes mm -hmm. and she would, she would throw down with you. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, what do you think about it? A woman in this world, you got to. Women are more dangerous, yes, cops than men are, because a man, he gets that confidence thing. I'm gonna fill it up to you. A woman is like a little guy taking a big guy on. They're gonna grab the best, first weapon they can because they can articulate. This is why I did this, and they're gonna stick it in your throat, and you're dead. I used to know a female PMC, mm -hmm. and she was goddamn deadly. Mm -hmm. Um. Woman in a man's world, PMC world, still man's world. Hey, we have a female officer here who used to be a power lifter. I, I wouldn't fight her. I'm not talking about that. The one I'm talking about just was was martial arts and, and combat training. But I mean, with a gun, period. Mm -hmm. Hyper aggressive as fuck. Well, that's, this one's martial arts training. I mean, women women just have to be that. I mean, because they're not only are they dealing with the public and mm -hmm. you know the perception of women as law enforcement and the public, and that's just a little moment, you know. But guys, like you get some big guys bigger than me that oh yeah, I'm bad, I'm bad. and they get their butts handed to them, and they're like, we can't. Where did that come from? I can't move. Yeah. Um, in order for me to win, I have to out, out overpower, overpower you, mm -hmm. and I gotta get you down. Mm -hmm. Now, I've got some martial arts. Mm -hmm. I'm not a badass with it. My leg is not coming up. Mm -hmm. I can do it, but it's not effective. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to get the shit kicked out of anybody with that crap. Mm -hmm. The shit's on TV. That's not real reality. Right. Uh, you got to get them down, and then you just basically crush the shit out of them. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Knock it off. Yeah. Um, it just doesn't work that way. Yeah. But yeah, some of these women would not want to. Uh, we got a lot of them like that at the sheriff's office. They take their training very seriously. They take their training more serious than than men do. But my question to you is this. Okay. And I, and I'm I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna talk to them tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Get all this square away. I'll probably come back and see you tomorrow night. No, I got a visit at seven. A uh, visit with Ashley. Okay. I had a visit set up for last week. They only let me have one per week, and they don't have let me. But I gotta tell them. I gotta beg for the cop. I mean, seriously, it's like try. I gotta like knock them up. Can I please get set up for visitation? And because my pod doesn't get it, and that I'm not, I'm not underneath being new rules. I'm going to write this down because you're asking me about a postcard. But because of me being in BMU with with a high profile, they've got it set up where um, they don't always give me visitation. So they let me have it tomorrow night. I got one to seven o'clock. I'm hoping it's a contact. I don't know. Where the fuck am I going to go? You got all my shit. Honestly, they let me, they let me out for like six hours today. It's fucking cool as shit. <laughs> well, the cops kept coming by asking me for real estate advice. Well, yeah, I'll tell you how to do all this. So they're, 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 they're selling their homes and having problems and having, yeah. the agents are not that good. Yeah, right. And to give them some guidance and then get ass raped when it came to the, yeah. the inspections. Well, yeah, your best friend's taking over my neighborhood selling it. Who? Mitzi. Fuck her. Uh, <laughs> but the, uh, she's not that good. She just has the whole company behind her. Her? Huh? She's not that good. She just has the whole company behind her because her money owns the company, and it, it's all running through her assistant to actually do all the work. Uh, she actually has one assistant that's very smart. I can't remember the young lady's name, but she is a Cameron Bond girl. Is this has been seven or eight years ago. She she's the one that helped her with my house. She's got a bunch of them, but they're constantly rotating. They'll have a couple of them. Um, they're 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 very defensive of her. Um, they almost like a little cult. It is. It is. Yeah, I mean, it's very serious. I mean, they're very, like you said, very loyal to her. Yeah. Um, she's not a bad person. No. She's not. Um, I mean, I love talking shit about my competitors, or mm -hmm. what was my competitors, because uh, TKA is now defunct. But they are so fucking happy how they have their lane. The fuck? <laughs> He's finally off of our ass. 
but am I? <laughs> Somebody made a comment to me the other day. I'm, I'm going to get back to the subject. Somebody gave me a comment to me about, you know, whatever you do, don't try to escape. Don't try to escape. And I went, where the fuck would I go? <laughs> that I wouldn't be recognized. I looked at and went, I said, I'm the most known face on the goddamn planet, me and Trump. And I got better hair. <laughs> you do. I'm the second most pop, most most recognized thing on the planet right now. Two. I mean, Dylan Roof's pissed. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, honestly, if I see him where I'm going, I'm fucking him up. Who? Dylan Roof. That piece of shit in Columbia that shot the black people in the church. Man, you know you oh, shoot yeah. people in yeah. church. Yeah. Asshole. Yeah. I'm going to kill him. Die wolf is that. <laughs> but, I mean... You don't go into church, man. That's yeah. that's that's just no man's land. You just don't do it. That's like going to a daycare. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're right. Um. No, you ain't gonna do a church club with a guy slinging dope. Fuck it up. But um. Uh, they're like you know, don't whatever you do, don't try something like dude. I ain't going to try shit. I said, let's see. Uh, I'm the most second most recognized face on the planet right now. Mm -hmm. You took my cars, you took my money, you took my damn plane. You, you, yeah, actually, I was tied of the motorcycle and wallet. Well, Go ahead, I'm listening. You, you took my plane, you took why well, I, uh, I had the right to go rent a plane. Um, I guess. <laughs> I don't like leaving a loud trail, okay? I'm sorry. Even when I'm not doing illegal shit. Mm -hmm. Just have it. Um, even when I load ammo that's just practice. I always wore gloves. I just fuck that. You probably found what fourteen boxes of freaking gloves. <laughs> hospital. Huh? Could run a hospital. <laughs> I played doctor a few times. <laughs> fuck. Um where you took my cars, you took my house, you took my lane, you took this, you took my money, you took my company. Fuck am I gonna go? You could open the fucking gates. Mm. I'd walk outside, look around, and go. I'm going back in there. <laughs> I can't be seen in this shit. <laughs> they already gave my clothes away to Goodwill. There's some good bums out there wearing some good. They shave your clothes away to Goodwill. Good to die. My family. Why? Where am I gonna wear them? Unless I'm mistaken, I'm not gonna be wearing my 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 my, my good shit. Mm -hmm. Although, you know what you really, would, would, would really make me happy? Mm. Seriously? Mm. Actually has my pants with my belt in it. Can you put it in my property? Actually has your pants with your belt on. When I go, I mean, I'm, all, I'm done being sentenced. You're all going to come to me, and I'm going to go on a happy bus, and I'm probably going to be going to Perry Correctional, I'm guessing. Okay. Okay. I take it I'm going to be wearing this shit. Right. They may have me wearing my street clothes. No. No? No. Okay. Somehow I'll stroll my ass into prison wearing fucking black fucking skinny ass black fucking gym shorts. No. no Not the fucking no, my job's going for. No, they'll change you out. They'll change you out to whatever. They'll change. They'll train you. Yeah, out. yeah. They'll change, dress you out. They won't, you won't be. It'll be, it'll be SCDC. Uniform or something like that. I almost ever said I might go ACDC. I mean, I should. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't going down that road. <laughs> no, I was going to, you're talking about that before. I was going to say, have, have you been, have you had any problems? No. No. <laughs> um, these black people are noisy as fuck. They talk too loud. Oh my god! And they yell and they sing. It's like I can't. I can't even understand the words. They're just so fucking loud. And they tap it, tap, 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 because they're bored. And then today, one of them got pissed off because he wanted his time out. Mm -hmm. Well, I had my time out. Mm -hmm. Well, nice to me because I'm not a dick to them. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I'm already about to hear. My bed's already made. I've gone time. Uh, thank you for the tray. Yeah. There's no reason to be rude. Yeah. Why? I took. I think me. You know, well, the thing about it is they they don't they blame us they blame me they blame whoever put them there, and it's like if it's they're us. if they're drug dealers, you know I didn't well you didn't grow up where I grew up in the streets or you didn't do that yeah I didn't you know but thing is 
if you look at society today, it's like I told this girl the other day. She's like, "You didn't grow up where I grew up. I'm, a, I'm I, you know, I got to do this to survive. This, 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 and this." And I'm like, "You know, you have just two or three kids. She's nineteen or twenty. She she finished high school. She's got two or three kids. I'm like, they would pay you to go to college." You would get student loans. You would get grants. They would pay for your child care. You would make money on top of them paying for you to go to school. I don't want to hear this poor me shit. Yeah. I was a stupid 15-year-old kid who did some really fucking stupid shit, and I went to prison for it. I owned up to it, and I paid for it. Mm -hmm. I owned up what? Well, paid way too much, I think. Mm -hmm. But I owned up to it, and I took responsibility, and I paid for it. Mm -hmm. When I went to prison, I wasn't a badass. Now, he didn't want to fuck with me. Right. But I wasn't a badass. You pull up a damn printing record and it'll show you. I had a couple things where I stole butter, put the popcorn, mm -hmm. and I had a few fights. But over 15 years, I was clean, at least, I would say, 13 years of it. Did you actually do 15 years in? Every fucking day. Did you really? And I did, wouldn't give me parole, wouldn't give me anything. I was told I sentenced. My public defender was a piece of shit. I got sold out. I was supposed to go to juvie. I got sold out, and I got agreed to sign a piece of paper, which moved me to adult. Didn't know what I was signing. Got moved to adult. Soon as I got to adult, I finally got an attorney who basically decided to go ahead and plea bargain me, and they came up with some bullshit. And for a 15-year-old kid, I got 15 fucking years flat. No parole, no nothing, flat time. I thought you got out before the 15. I didn't get uh, shit. Because I thought when you moved to Unglove that you had an ankle bracelet on or something like that. Mm. I didn't think shit. Right. Really? Mm. Uh, Hunt Club tried to kick me out. Uh, Hunt Club tried to I do remember that. They tried to kick me out. Because um, um, they contacted me and asked me how they could do that. I said, I don't think that you can. I said, I don't think that you can. I said, I, I don't think that you can do that. And the, um, but no, they, I didn't have any of that. So I was a courtesy officer there. I know. Yeah. So was uh, Floyd Turley. Yes. Where is he now? He still works there. He works at the schools. Oh, didn't have the school resource option. Oh, cool. That's one of his house. Did you really? Hey, <laughs> um, I like Floyd. He's not. Bad. He's a great guy. He's a great um, guy. Um, he made, we have a joke because he was giving me a hard time one time, and I told him he said something about joking around because we were partners all second shift. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, he he said something <laughs> about me being white. Or something like that. And I looked at him. I said, you know how he talked. Real proper. I said, man, you are whiter than the whitest white man I know. And he just started laughing. <laughs> he almost caught me a decade ago. Oh. I was at Hunt Club. Sitting on my patio. On my porch. Mm -hmm. Shooting 10 cans. I was tired of shit. It was late at night. I was burned out. And I was shooting 10 cans. Shooting with beer cans. With a gun? Yeah. I don't know if it was BB gun or something. No. Really? I'll do my back to the guns. Um, sit out there shooting, and he came around with the curse up. I came walking by him. <laughs> well, what gun did you have? Um, fuck, what was that? It, well, it wouldn't have linked you back to... Oh, fuck no. Yeah. But having a cop walk up on you with a suppressed fucking pistol is not a good way to start the night. Well, no. Yeah. It wasn't a Beretta, was it? Might have been. <laughs> it wasn't a Beretta that was used on Eric Bridge Road, was it? Dude, you have any Berettas I've had? Why? I thought you didn't like them. No, it's the Glock. I don't like Glocks. You don't like the Glocks. Why do you have so many Glocks, then? They're effective. Uh -huh. right. Let me tell you this. You know my favorite gun? Sick. Mm -hmm. Got one of those too. Uh, I'm sorry, you guys have. Well, no, I have a SIG 226. Oh, 227. Mm -hmm. It was actually my duty weapon here, and when we, when we went over the Glock, they gave us the opportunity to buy them. Which one did you get? Double action, single, double single. What did you get? Double which which configuration? What do you mean? Never mind. It's got a hammer. Slide it back. Except for those being high bore axis weapons, they'll never let you down. Um, keep it oiled. What I like about it is it, it's one of the ones that was still made over in Germany. Mm -hmm. Now they make them in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. So it was like one of the last ones that came from Germany. Uh, some of them are sheet metal that have been 
bent. Some of them, they're, they're until you get certain ones, you don't get them milled, mm-hmm. but they're not bad. Right. Uh, the only thing you may want to do is go to uh, Top Gun. Top Gun, uh, actually, my car was up there, but um, get a new spring for it. Swap out the, just, it's been used in mm-hmm. your Glock as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, and how often do you shoot that damn thing? I don't shoot quite a bit. Well, they change them out. Oh, okay. They have a mandatory change out. Like, um, the sick I gave to my dad, um, but they, right before they, we bought them, they changed all the, like our, Mark was one of them. Mm-hmm. He was, um, he went to the sick school and the block school to be able to take them apart and do all that. And he, um, replaced the, the, you know, all the, all the parts that need to be replaced in the springs and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Your Glock is extremely easy to do. Mm-hmm. The, the one thing that Gaston did right. Mm-hmm. It doesn't handle well. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's clunky. Mm-hmm. But the fucking thing won't fail you. Right. I have torture tested this. I have torture tested the shit out of them. Mm-hmm. I mean, some of those out there have got 10, 12, 14,000 rounds through them. Mm-hmm. I've had one. Talking the Glock or the C? The Glocks. My my Sig has probably had the Sig. The Sig will not fail you. It's it's had it's had easy ten thousand rounds to it. And the cool thing about the Sig is when you when you first start shooting it, you pull it out, it rattles, mm-hmm. and after you pop several magazines through it, it's you shake it, and there's no noise, and it's as smooth as silk. As long as you use the proper oil on it, mm-hmm. that thing will last. All this one. And what I tell people, don't one thing I, ha- I have learned from Mark. Don't use too much. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not rubbing down a woman with baby oil so she can suntan. It doesn't take that much oil. You get some people that are cleaning them and they work, and it looks like an oily mess. And they'll say, okay, now take a rag, wipe all that off, and start over. I hit there. I use uh, Break Free. Mm-hmm. I'll spray it, mm-hmm. wipe it down, wipe it down with good, hit it with a couple Q-tips, mm-hmm. pop that bath in. I mean, I'm going to tell you, the one thing I do is when I'm shooting at the range, well, my range, uh, I will occasionally lock it back. Or when I've gone through, you know, Six, seven mags. Because when I shoot, I, those mags are all loaded. I go through them all. I'm not joking. I was going through 400 days, 400 rounds a day. When I do that, I just spray on the breech a little bit, spray a little bit down on the feed ramp, mm. put a little bit back on there, and we want to get back in it. And those things, it will not fail you. I hate the trigger on on the Glock. Mm. Uh, you can change them out, but it's never going to be great. Right. Um. I, my fat fingers, I have to change out the slide lock and the slide release. Mm-hmm. I can't use them. I can't use them. Mm-hmm. Um, even my slide release should have been bigger. Right. Uh, I did it, but it's it just there. Uh, if you change, it, change out your springs, they say over 1,500 rounds. I don't tell you now, I've gone through 10,000 and changed shit. Um, it ain't going to break, but I like the aftermarket spikes. Um, the SIG, I'm going to do shit. The Beretta. The Beretta is just easy to shoot. The only bad thing about the Beretta is the damn safety on the slide. When you go to rack it, if you're not careful, you'll fuck it with the safety. You'll re-engage it. Re- you'll, you'll right, re-engage the safety. The old, the old one I had, I had a Taurus in there that was the original Beretta, mm-hmm. and it's got it still on the on the frame. Mm-hmm. I really miss those. Damn. Uh, they work better. But racking it, but yeah, I, I don't know which button. For. I've, had, I've had a lot of I have a lot of everything. It's you. I get. I, I gotta ask you this. This is driving me crazy. Two things. Okay. I know you have more guns. I know you have a shitload more guns. I know you have a shitload more ammunition. Um, it's like I told you before. I I've not lied to you. Okay. I've been honest with you. Mm-hmm. Um, I've not made you any promises, and I've done. I've tried everything I can. To follow through with what I said, mm-hmm. I was going to do, especially when it comes to talking to your mom. Okay, you know, we. I will talk tomorrow to them about these items. Um, I will also tell them that you may be willing to talk to the feds about what you said earlier. I never saw. I never saw any people. I never took me anybody anywhere else. I mean, about other people doing this. Did you already have them? You just don't even realize it. You already have them. Well, this is what they're this is what they're going to be interested in. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like 
it's kind of like um when when we first talked um and we talked about super bikes mm -hmm. you know and, and and you know how you know how it is act of good faith so to speak yeah you know they're going to want to know where these other weapons and other ammunition are at I imagine they do. They're going to want to know. Um, you know. I, you know, I can't, like I said, I can't make any promises. But I can, I can help a lot more, I think, mm -hmm. if I had something to tell them. Right now, I'm not going to tell you that. Okay. It's something I'll... No offense, but I got to save something. I gave you way too fucking much too fast. I fucked myself in the ass. Three side with a fucking Godzilla dick. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, my ass can't take this. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I have, and this is this has just been, you know, when super bikes happen, they pissed you off. They, they, you know, they were assholes. They pissed you off. They treated you like shit. Um, I think it was Bob that went up there with you to buy the gun, or buy the bike. Mm -hmm. And he even, he corroborated, I mean, he said that, that they, you know, they treated you like shit. Mm -hmm. um, something about riding the bike across the street in the driveway and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And, the, you know, um, and then the situation that happened last year where dumbass, you know, tried to rob you. Mm -hmm. The, the, the thing for me, and, and, and this is just from 2000. And was it three to 2015? Mm -hmm. The time span. Mm -hmm. what, what, I mean, was there something? I, I mean, I know these situations were triggered and there were responses by you. Yeah. You know, the, I know by your personality and I know by who you are and talking to you that you don't go out in search of hurting anybody. I didn't hunt. Right. But with these situations, there were no anger situations or nobody that approached you that, that set this, like these people did off in the meantime? Yeah. That's That's been a question that's been gnawing at me. I mean, not, you know, just, you know, it's like, he he's not, he's not a hostily tempered person. But you would think I'm, that, I'm aggressive, but I'm aggressive more business wise. So the so the question would bear during that over ten years, mm -hmm. you know, um, yeah, twelve years. Is there was there never a situation that developed that brought you know that that there's a there's a, there's a lot of situations that developed that didn't result in that. Okay, there's a lot of shit that's happened over the last many many years. I have a serious dislike for drug dealers. Um, I really don't like drug dealers. You know, you can do a lot of things out there. You can fuck up a lot of shit. But drug dealers basically sacrifice people's lives to put money in their pocket. Mm -hmm. I never done shit for money. Mm -hmm. Money didn't do that. Um, I'm not worried about the Fed. They're, they're, they're not. Enough. I never sold anything. Right. Um, And that's what they're going to be interested in about these other guns and these other weapons, these other ammo and things like that to show that you didn't sell it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling them he's got a lot of weapons. He's got all this. And they're like, well, we can't find him. What did he do? Sell them? No. And I'm like, I don't think that he did. I think that they're on. Look, look, I said I, look, they're either isn't on this property or they're someplace else. There's nothing on that property. Well, that's what I told him. I said, if they're not, if it's not on this property, then it's someplace else. But I don't think dude, they sold. It. Dude, I told you guys were things where you didn't even find. They were right underneath you. I told you where they were. Mm -hmm. You didn't know where they were. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, there's a Glock 21 at that table. Right? Yeah. Be cautious. Yeah. Um, there's a SBR upstairs with a suppressor that's around the chamber. Please have safety on. Um, I don't want to cop get shit out by accident. Right. That's not a good way to end it. You're blaming it on me. <laughs> I'm like, I do. <laughs> 
I didn't sell anything. The the like I said, I'm a tweaker. I like not the tweaker yellow. Yeah. I like to play. Mm-hmm. I take it apart. I look at it. I spend a lot of time looking at it and go, you know what? I can make it better. My suppressors are quieter than AACs. Mm-hmm. I make better baffles. Mm-hmm. Um, they could be quieter if they wanted to. Mm-hmm. They just don't want to spend the time. That's the difference. Don't believe me? Go pick up two weapons. I'm already there. You have a Walther P22 that's in my backpack. There's an AAC suppressor in there. It's brand new. Has a monolith system. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, in the Connex was another Walther P22. Mm-hmm. Had mine that I made. Same ammo. Go fire both of them. Tell me which one's quieter. Well, Mark looked at him. He said, he, he said, he knows exactly what he's talking about. He knows what he's doing. I do know what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, I was making some big boy ones, but I made quite a few big boy ones. Uh, I don't like little, the 22 is, 22 is more dangerous than you think. Um, cause it's too, it's truly quiet. You just walk up to somebody to see it. Yeah. Um, the big boy shit that you got to hide that you just put in a, in a magazine or it's going to make them some mail and shit and just walk up and, you know, then mm-hmm. fuck it. Uh, 22 is dangerous. Um, I'm a shot cat's with you. We don't get it. Hello? What? You like cats? No, I do like cats. <laughs> the problem is, they kept people kept bringing me cats out the land. I had them bring them out, but then they brought me some really sick cats and fucked up cats and things that were wrong with cats. Uh, I had one of them that just kept shitting on itself. Like five, ten times a day, we just walk up and just throw. I mean, just literally. I mean, the cat was like fucked up, and we just like fit all over the fucking place and just nasty. And I was like, cat was sick on something, mm-hmm. and I'm going out of pleasure. I had another cat out there that that got something and started like his back was broken, but it wasn't, and started walking on. I mean, I'm I'm worried about rabies and weird shit. Yeah, I gave it three days to get well. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you three days. You kept on to like meow and come over to me. Oh, hell no. You ain't come near me. I'll catch you out of you. And, uh, you ain't give me rabies. And when it started getting worse, I just came out. See ya. Um, I'm not going to hurt an animal unless I have to. Right. Um, I don't hunt. Um, what I was trying to get to here, you got people who are out there doing the same shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're not really into such a people off, but there's people doing the same shit I'm doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. When you start talking to people on Facebook, mm-hmm. you know me fucking private groups, secret groups, little groups, or damn it, shit is on Facebook. Mm-hmm. You, oh yeah, yeah, I do, I do. I'm the, I'm the. Unfortunately, I'm the Facebook. Every time somebody wants a search warrant done, or they want somebody tracked down on Facebook, or but, can, I give you a piece, can you give me a piece of advice? Sure. You need to stop doing it. Anyway. You're hot. It's not a derogatory term. Uh-huh. If you really want to nail it, there's people out there doing sick crimes. Uh-huh. I personally don't know who this is, but that's, that's me. And you do. Okay. I don't know about any of those people. Okay. Because I don't need those struggles. But you've got people who are big time in the weapons. Mm-hmm. You guys, we can smell you a mile and a half away. Mm-hmm. I used to belong, I took myself off the groups. So you're going to be shit out of luck to getting back in them because you got to be invited to be in them. Mm-hmm. There are groups out there that specialize in just basically NFA items, um, basic weapons transfers. And I'm going to tell you, we talk a lot. you got to know your shit. If you don't know your shit, I cannot tell you how many times I have a little logo popped up. It's never been popped up on me, but possibly goes, not today, ATF, not today. A guy will come into a room, and he'll ask a stupid question. If you don't know what NSA is, if you don't understand how the shit works, if you don't understand parts and pieces and, like, that loop, that was for the suppressors. No, we should ask for three, four, to, hey, Every bit counts. Right. Uh, actually, I prefer to use white width and grease. Sounds better. 
Um, you're a fan of that out there. Yes, sir, I did. Yeah, I, I saw the two. Yeah, I could hit two. No, not two. See the one the spray can? Take the can off, run a tube all the way down it, mm -hmm. and then so as you spray, pour it back out. Mm -hmm. The coat's all of them. One, your 22 is going to get gummed up. It won't have all the all the fouling on it. And it lowers your dust. was about five to six. Really? Yeah, but I didn't always have that. So I used to use the syringe using the pool loop. Pool loop will work, but it's water soluble. The problem with the pool loop is while it does lower it down and it's easy to use, like if you're doing a, like, a lot through one day, it's, it's easy to use. But with the heat, it heats up, turning into liquid, and you got water shit all over the fucking place. It's like your damn woman went squirting on your ass. <laughs> so it turns into a mess. Getting back to where the subject goes, so what you'd use is this. It works just as well, but it stays in it, and it doesn't do all the damn damage. Um, the reason why you guys can't find is when you go online, and you can't get, you guys can't get invited to these rooms. And half of them are cops. They're not your kind of cop. Right. My kind of cop. Right. Okay. These guys know guns. They know what they're talking about. They're very specialized. And I mean, they trade shit left and right. You can buy anything on the fucking internet once your hands off. You don't need to fucking go to Torrent. Mm -hmm. You can get it right there. So that, you've got people out there I know down damn well are out there are out there basically doing shit. And I'm gonna tell you that there are bodies out there. I don't know where they are, I don't know where people are. But you get people in these rooms and you can tell the ones that are full of shit. And the ones that are not full of shit. Because they're not telling you. They're hinting. Mm -hmm. Every dumbass likes to, and myself included, obviously, since I'm obviously sitting here. Eventually, wants you to know what they did. It's human nature. I've, I've often wanted to ask you that. And that was one of the other questions. One of the questions. Did you ever want it to come out what you did? No, sir. You didn't never, you'd never thought about, you know, not the glory thing, but there's no glory in this. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the super bike. What happened out there? There's no glory in that. I'm not proud. There's no glory in it. Um, I mean, I told somebody, I'm not going to tell you who I told. Um, we've had discussions about various things, but, um, there's no way it's in your investigation. Um, and they were like, fuck. um, I'm like I said, I'm, this case is not going to be over for a very long night. I will probably be seeing you and other people for many, many years. Um, I'll be an honor about that. <laughs> you know, you know what the honestly what they ought to do? But um one, the warden needs to hire my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dragon over that fuck out of that office. <laughs> but he's not gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Let's face it. You always have the I mean the warden always has somebody in their in their office. And he, I can guarantee it's not gonna be somebody with fucking eight eight month fucking life sentences. Yeah. Yeah. You know. We like you, you're smart as fuck. But you could browse subs. I don't care. You're too smart. <laughs> that would be that would be the Yeah, but I'm not gonna ever run. Yeah. Where the fuck would I go? Yeah. Seriously. I'm gonna stand here and go, Yeah, I got out. Um Fuck. It's cold out here. We're <laughs> gonna let me back in. My biggest bitch is letting me have my damn books. I gotta beg these guards to bring me books. There's nothing on my pod. I don't think these fuckers know how to read. What do you want to read books? I mean, will they give you access to books? They can't. They haven't yet. I had to basically beg them to go find me a damn book. The, the first book they gave me was the Bible. I never read the Bible before. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you, in my position, the Old Testament is not the fucking place to start. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I heard nothing but Incest, not down with that shit. Uh, killing everybody on the man. And 47,000 times of, we gonna kill your ass. I'm going, this is not motivational. I mean, I got told we're gonna kill you 400,000 times in the damn book. And I'm going, 
where's the peace and love and of you know what i'll find out about the books and i'll find out about the uh i had books mailed to me they let me they finally let me have books when i had mailed into me but i was trying to get a normal library i can't so you have books now well i ran out i already read them all okay but i had like I had people mail them into me. I read them, mm-hmm. and they found me books in the hallways and mm-hmm. read it. Mm-hmm. I told them, "Bring me but religious." I've had another part of that. I'm going to kill your ass. Mm-hmm. Uh, Who's your favorite author? Dude, I don't care. Just something fat. Look, <laughs> you like Don Christian or something? No, man. That shit's all about fucking putting people in the room and killing. <laughs> the Rainmaker was fucking shit. No. <laughs> I read one of his books one time. It was all about putting a guy in the, in the electric chair and going, fuck you. <laughs> they made a movie about that. See, with my luck, with my luck, I mean, it's, it's, you know, they really should stop fucking with the state. Oh, we're not going to build, give you the chemicals anymore to do lethal injection. You're not helping matters. The, the companies won't sell you the chemicals, so you can't get the chemicals half the damn time, and then they make you do it. It, it used to be where they just put you under, you went under, you were done. Mm-hmm. Then they took away half the chemicals. So now it's going to burn like a bitch. It's going to hurt, and it may not even work. Neither. So then the states are freaking the fuck out. So now we're talking about bringing back gas chamber and electric chair. How the fuck is this better? I mean, and then think about something. I get the whole retribution, you pissed at me, you've already got me, I'm done. But you piss at me, so we're going to fry your ass. You understand that you're not just frying me. When you do that, my family's got to see it. Mm-hmm. The victim's family got to see it. Mm-hmm. I don't know about you, but if watching somebody burn in electric chair or some shit is not an attractive sight. You, know, you may, you may go, go, go in and go, we're going to get your ass. Mm-hmm. But you're going to come out a fucked up person. Because you're, you're, you're... Dude, I've seen a lot of people out there die. Okay, I have to. It's... Um... I have to tell you some weird stories, we're not going to talk about that tonight. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, I was seen some shit. Um, but when it comes to this, the guard who had to do it, the warden had it, all the fucking people who were surrounded them, mm-hmm. 100 people around you had nothing to do with your charge, all get punished. Mm-hmm. It's bad enough. This is the messed up thing about that, though. They, uh, except for the guards that have to be there, everybody else chose to be there. Once. Everybody else chooses chooses to be there. Once. Mm-hmm. But you walk in looking for retribution. Mm-hmm. And I can't imagine you walk out the same person. No, you don't. And you know, I don't think you walk out with retribution either. You don't. I would imagine it's a very empty feeling. I, I would think so. And I would think, you know, you go in there. And I don't want to say a letdown, but that's. For lack of a better word, that's what it's going to be. That's what it would be in a situation like that. Because you go in there looking for closure. And there is no closure. There's not. There's not. There's a scab. It calluses over. Mm -hmm. But there's no... The other part I don't like about it is that I get life in prison. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Because I'm a realist here. Uh, um, there's no technicality. I'm not going to sit there and go, oh, we fucked up the paperwork. Fuck it, let it go. <laughs> Somehow, even if there's a technicality, I'm still fucked. Let's be realistic. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, there's no paperwork technicality. I'm really good at what I do. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. <laughs> but you get the point. kind of like when you realized you told me she was only there for an hour and a half and you... I didn't get fucked up. <laughs> You looked at me as soon as you said that, and you're like, fuck. Fuck. He, know, he knows different. <laughs> oh, I knew the two points were... I, 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 when I asked you that, I knew where I had fucked up. Mark Mark has a Mark has a thing on my desk. He calls me the closer. Mm-hmm. You know. But the problem is, is that you, 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 you march me in, you give me eight lives, whatever. The tempo set. I'm done, you're done, we're done, we're out of here. We have closure. He ain't getting out. He's not doing this. But honestly, I'm hoping that I can end up. I'll be a max. I'm not going to leave max. Yeah. I know the max. You realize I went to prison at 15. I got out. I went to college. Mm-hmm. Graduated with honors. Mm-hmm. I went to work in real estate. I built the fuck my own company. 
I'm a walking goddamn motivational seminar. Mm-hmm. I busted my ass and did this. I don't want to hear this shit. This, well, you know, I, you don't know where I was raised. Bitch, I was raised in prison. Fuck you. Mm-hmm. You got no fucking room to bitch and say you can't do it or, well, the man just hold me down. Man ain't done shit to you. Mm-hmm. You went into that street corner and you sold those drugs. Let me ask you this. No, you don't like drug dealers. Nope. You ever fuck up any drug dealers? Yes, sir. Did you? Yes, sir. I figured you had. You just keep, you, the way you said that, I could, you know, it's it's not that you said it, it's how you said it. You know, that, that you could tell there's a, a real hate. You take a drug dealer. Hate for them. He's going to go out there and... Some lady's going to come in. She wants her drugs. He's going to fuck her for the drugs. It's going to happen. Then that woman's going to bring their daughter in there. And next thing you know is, junkie girl here cares more about the drugs Uh than she cares about her daughter. And next thing you know is, daughter's getting fucked. Right. Not fucking cool. Right. Then you know she's got a son. Son learns what this shit's going on. Now we end up in a kid who normally could have gone to school, had a chance in the hell. Also, now he thinks this is acceptable. Mm-hmm. They should know is he's either slinging this shit or he's doing other fucking shit. The chain never stops. The chain never stops. But in reality, in your position, you can't stop it. Someday, will you tell me about the drug dealers? You don't want to hear about that. I actually did. No, you don't. They want to hear about that. I don't care what they want to hear about. I turn it off. You know, I'm not going to talk about that right now. I mean, but it, I, I'm I spent kidding. I spent a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of money learning how to do what I did. I spent a lot of fucking effort. I wasn't always fat, mm-hmm. and I always pushed. I mean, my back hurts, my shoulder hurts, my back hurts. Mm-hmm. I can move short term. I cannot hump it like I used to. Mm-hmm. Um, I was never a soldier. Mm-hmm. Um, I got the opportunity to be around some very interesting people. I got trained with some very interesting people. They're good people. Here in Arizona, when you say trained with? Uh, both. Did I left Arizona my first day out. Okay. I mean, I had some... People I was around as a kid, but I didn't really know shit as a kid. So once you got out of prison, you came straight here. I came straight here. Um, your three percent or shit, dude. I believe in in the Constitution. I believe in all that kind of shit. Three percent. I mean, the, the running joke is behind every you know the whole thing about behind it, like in World War Two, behind every bloody grass would be a, there'd be a a, a, a weapon. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, it's been re- re- rechanged to behind everybody like our ass will be a 3% are trying to get his fucking gun to work. Mm-hmm. Have these guys on what the fuck they're doing. You see these guys running all these fucking deaths. It's like these meatheads. They're actually pretty cool. They, I get why they wearing the, the play carriers. Mm-hmm. It's intimidation. Mm-hmm. Limits their mobility. It limits your mobility. It is intimidating looking. Mm-hmm. Okay. It limits your mobility, and they put too much mm-hmm. best. They would do way better to take half that off. That's when when I was on the road, I I like you would have those guys out there. I used to call them Batman because mm-hmm. they have their belts on. They have all, everything they could think of on there. Mm-hmm. I'd have my gun, two magazines, handcuffs, mm-hmm. and an asp, you know, or pepper spray, mm-hmm. you know, some eat one or the other, um, and um. You'd get some people out there, man, they, they'd have everything, you know, and one guy I tried to explain to him one time, he had his, he had his ass behind his gun. Mm. And I said, okay, what happens when you have to pull your gun and you can't get your gun out because your ass is in the way? Because when he'd sit down in his car, like, though. So, it pushes the asp up into your gun, mm-hmm. and you can't get your gun out. Which runs and pins on the type of holster you guys carry, which the SERP is not the greatest. Mm-hmm. Um, right, so see, was the ours Bravo concealment? Ours was ours was ours was um, th- uh, threat level three. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but level three, level three. And, um, then we had, we had some for a while with Safari Lamb, just a single snap, mm -hmm. just I mean, pieces of shit, mm -hmm. just huge. That's what we had when we had to see. But expensive. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of one of mine I have now is a Blackhawk. Um, and the only reason I carry it is just because it's easy to carry. Mm -hmm. Um, there's actually a company in Boiling Springs that hand makes the holsters for you. Mm -hmm. They're really nice. And they do a really good job. I got a shitload of Galco. Mm -hmm. Love my Galcos. Uh, I got a bunch of Bianchis. Uh, they make good products. Mm -hmm. The Safari Land I've never been happy with. Uh, never have. You know the Cowboy Connection up there? Mm -hmm. They actually make holsters there. They custom make them for you. They do a really the, good job. The I've probably got 10 of those damn Blackhawks for various things. From is the Blackhawk, you can't get one that holds the Surefire X300 Ultras. You know, they use this fucking Xenon, whatever the fuck that Glock crap is. Mm -hmm. That that weapon's light. Mm -hmm. It's better than nothing, mm -hmm. but it ain't shit. Yeah. You want a Surefire? Dude, you done blind the fucker, and hopefully you don't have to shoot him. Right. And there is no excuse of you going to the room and not seeing what is in front of you. Is that carry a stream light? Mm -hmm. I carry a portable stream light, rechargeable portable stream light. I don't have rechargeable. I've got one back in the car. I actually got two of them. Well, you, you, you got two in the back car. Dude, I have, I have affordables. I've had it for. What's going to happen to all that? What? All my gear. I don't know. I, I, I don't. Can I have it back? Probably not. Can I give it to somebody? Probably not. Why not? It wasn't used. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know where, I don't know if you, it's we're, on, it's on the possession of fire. Well, we're, we're at the beginning of a long journey. You know that. Well, this is going to go on for years. Yeah. I mean, we're at the beginning of a long journey and it, and you know, it, and it is what it is. And, you know, I never wanted notoriety. I never wanted to come out <clears throat> a year ago. I was just pissed. I honestly just thought. I was helping a motherfucker out. Last year? Yeah. And it pissed me off. I mean, I pulled up to somebody on the side of the street who ain't got shit. And were they together? No. What? Let me back that up. Because it came out that she used to work at Waffle House. Somebody called in and said she used to work at Waffle House and that you used to go to the Waffle House down... Do I like a Waffle House? 221. Yeah, I was like, he's not a Waffle House kind of guy. Mm. I have no idea. I ain't gone to Waffle House and shit. I, uh, Ashley had me go to Waffle House over on uh, 290 once, and we went in there and had pecan waffles and shit, but I'm, I ain't into that shit. Yeah. I don't do grease. Yeah. Hey, Ashley can't eat grease. She'll puke it up to fight. I'm going to tell you right now, you ain't puking in my fucking BMW. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I have taken that car and locked it up and slid around right something. Go, girl, go. Because... If you if you feed her grease, mm -hmm. you got a clock on her. It's coming. She can't take it. Um. No, they were. I found her when she was panhandling, cute little piece of ass on the side of the road panhandling. I wasn't trying to get my dick sucked. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just would basically. It was almost Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Took pity on a girl out there. She looked kind of cute. Going, what the fuck? And I and there's people panhandling, and I was trying to offer her a job, and then I talked to her. And then I met her on later on. And then I found out about the boyfriend. I'm like, well, fuck it. I'll hire you both. I'm going to pay you $125 to clean the fucking house. Mm. Pay to both. I'll pay one. I don't give a shit. But I'm going to pay $125. That house to be cleaned. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that bad. If it had been a bad house, I'd pay you a lot more. Yeah. Um, and ended up doing that. And then he got worried. I was like, oh, fuck it. Well, I'm just going to get the damn clean supplies. And I said, he pulled up fucking thing out at me and came up and came at me I, I don't remember what was said mm -hmm. it was just very obvious she was rooting him on it was no surprise to her so she was like the leader he's like a puppet what about or that? follower she's the leader he's the follower dude it went, it went pretty fucking fast I mean there was two people I'm trying to get a job and all of a sudden it was just you know you know you get the idea like when you're when you're in school Mm -hmm. And the two kids are gonna fight, mm -hmm. and you got the dumbasses over here that cheering the guy on until he gets his ass whooped. Yeah. 
the cheerleader. Yeah. She was basically cheering it on until basically he came at me with a knife. And he got a shot. He got a shot. Um, I don't want to say that, man. Wrong cowboy. Yeah. Um, I got the vibe. Something was wrong. Once we got there. Kind of like Clint Eastwood and Grand Turing. You ever mess with something? Come across somebody you mess with that you shouldn't have? That's me. Um, nice rifle, too. Um, I like the classics. Yeah. Um, I don't like gimmicky shit. He's my old, he's like my old man. Did you see any of my stuff having being gimmicky? No. What did you see? What do you mean? When you looked at my, I know you pulled out my, 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 my vest. <clears throat> All of them. Mm-hmm. And you saw that what was on there. Mm-hmm. What did the vest tell you? <laughs> Very meticulous. Very, very organized, very meticulous. But why? What do you mean? There's, there's a reason why I'm saying this. But why was it meticulous? There was multiple vests, not the same calibers. No. Each for different purposes. But all the gears in the same place. Yeah. Easily accessible. In the same place. Mm-hmm. Depending on the situation that arises, you can you've got different different tools to reach for every vest was set up for a special weapon mm-hmm. i don't need to go guessing where my shit is right my my gun needs to be where it is my suppressor needs to be where it is my mags need to be where they are it does not does not change now if you'll notice not all those mag were were, were filled mm-hmm. it's kind of like they do with us practice what you taught with your gun and everything being in this Fight like you train, yeah, and like you fight, yeah. The weapons are in the same spot. Mm-hmm. The knives are in the same spot. Mm-hmm. My my weapons are consistent. Mm-hmm. Even the, the black vest that was set up for five five six. Mm-hmm. Only, Everything's going to be, but also you know, it's only four max filled, four spots, not all eight. Mm-hmm. I had all eight in case I needed it. Mm-hmm. They weren't filled. Why? Because you can't carry this shit, right? I've got leg things for fucking mags. You, you know what? Unless you're going to fucking full tilt war, you're right. not going to carry the shit. Right. I mean, I don't carry the shit. Right. Okay, I'm more practical. I'm too fucking big to be humping around with steel plates, especially when you got plate, 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 plate. Right. You're not a fucking tank. Right. Okay. Uh, soft arm of the way to go. Weapons set up specifically. All of my weapons. What do they tell you? Weapons tell a story, man. Thank you very much for sticking with me to the end of part three of four in this series. Uh, Now that three has been uploaded and published to YouTube, I will be able to finish out part four in just a few days. So if you want to be notified when part four comes out, please click the subscribe button, the notification bell, and hopefully YouTube will notify you when it comes out. Um, I want to uh, reiterate, I, I know that I've said this multiple times, but I'm, I'm really hopeful that this video doesn't cause any added pain or torment or anguish to the families of Mr. Kolhep's victims. I, I just, when I weighed whether or not I would publish it, I felt like it was probably important enough to, for educational purposes to, to publish it. And I know that I've beat that dead horse, but, um, I, I guess it's just important to me that they know that I'm not doing this lightly. You know what I mean? So come back for part four in another couple of days and uh, I should have it up up there. Okay. Until then I'll bid you adieu and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below.